You are his friend now. What? Joker, no, no. It's King Brewpan. All right, you guys, so we have several things to open today. I'm super, super excited to get to this. There's a lot of stuff from people that I have not seen uh, send before, so this is really, really, really exciting. Um, I mean, there's new people to send every single week, but there's just a lot of new names this week, and I'm super excited. But for the normal spiel for this segment, guys, if you want to send me your fan mail, the P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso, Oklahoma 74055. And if you want cards signed and sent back to you, all you need to do is sign is uh, a stamp and address and envelope in with your card so I have something to send them back in. In other words, um, appropriate packaging so that when I sign your cards, I have full confidence that when I drop them in the packaging, you addressed it yourself. I have full confidence at that point that it gets back to you. Like, that is the point, guys, um, you know, to make sure that everything gets back to everybody. And now with all of that said, um, let's get to opening all this. I'm super excited. Before we get into one of the newer people, let's open up one from Troy Strange because here's a name I recognize. He has sent several times. He's actually sent, I think, every week the past couple of weeks. The guy's a madman. Let's see what he has to say this week, though. Lots of cards, like lots and lots of cards, and the return envelope. All right, let's see. Let's see what this says. Let's see what my instructions are today. So, dear Yugi No No, greetings from California once again. Oh man, it's probably nice and sunny in California. It is rainy here today. I am um, in Oklahoma. Um, I have sent some more cards for uh, out of my uh, signature Yugi No No Cyber Dragon and Monarch decks for you to sign. I've been trying to send them uh, piece by piece so I don't uh, overwhelm you. Also, I wanted to ask you if you've ever thought about making a line of shirts. Simu has that uh, hideous Yu-Gi-Oh card shirt, so I figured a lot of people would buy shirts from you. Um, but yeah, that's actually something that um, that, is in, uh, that is in the works. It is in the works. Um, the thing is, um, I haven't decided if I want to go like the Teespring round or if I want to, you know, make my own website. I started my own website. Um, I haven't decided if I wanted to finish my own website or not. Um, you know, I, I just have some things in the works. Um, basically, I have like all, a lot of things going um, all the time for the channel. Uh, lots, lots of you know half finished product uh, projects. I almost said products, but lots, lots of uh, half finished projects. You know, uh, things I'm interested in here and there. Um, basically, everything happens for the channel. It just happens slowly and happens um, as I get time to deal with everything. To make a very long story short, yes, in the future, in the very near future, you will be able to buy shirts from me. That's that's what really what I'm trying to get to. You will be able to buy shirts and stuff like that and yes that card shirt is horrible <laughs> it's the ugliest shirt i've ever seen and my shirts will not be that ugly <laughs> okay um a shirt with team no no or a larvae moth on it would be so sick just thought oh uh, i'll spoil it for you guys i'll spoil it for you guys some of the shirts are gonna have yugi jesus stuff some of the shirts are gonna have uh go format stuff so i mean there's 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 a lot of ideas i have um a lot lots of ideas um that are gonna be um you know put in you know uh, put into a reality made into a reality um it's just a matter of time but yeah it's going to happen. It's really, really exciting that it's going to happen. Um, I'm stoked to hear you'll be coming out with a new parody video sometime soon, though. I know it will be awesome. Anyways, thanks so much for all the funny content on your channel, and have a huge thank you for signing cards. No problem. Uh, your friend, Troy. And um, yeah, that's another thing. Like, you know, like like I was saying a minute ago, half-finished projects and <laughs> stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I have, uh, you know, the um, it's the uh, it's the Mr. Brightside parody. Uh, the song is mixed. It's done. Um, it's just uh, getting, uh, you know, getting uh, the music video itself scripted and then uh, having time getting getting people together and then you know setting a time to go and make said music video that's a separate thing but yeah as far as like you know having cheddar bob sing the song and then me you know like listening and mixing the audio and all that stuff that is done like that is absolutely done it's just making the um, actual music video itself but dude thank you so 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 much for writing again i'll be sure to sign this whole stack and send it back to you thank you so much again And before we open the next one, we have to wait for rank 10 to get the hell out of my video. This next one is from H Via. H Via. That's all it really says besides the address. So let's see what this one is. So there's a drawing, it looks like. What is all this? Is that everything out of that? No, it's not everything out of that. There is the return envelope. Very cool. So the return uh, the return envelope. Some cards in here. What is all this? What is oh <laughs> Cyber Dragon! <laughs> that 
is awesome! Dude, sweet! Uh, dear Yugi No No, I am a really big fan of your videos, especially the um, the ones with Eugene in them. Your videos um, made me do things like rebuild my Toon deck, uh, make a performer pal Draco's Dra Draco Slayer deck. How's that work? And even uh, try to uh, build your uh, Herald deck. I'm trying to uh, make the Herald deck right now, but I can't get uh, some of the cards like Seraphonite, Brilliant Fusion, and Maxi because I really oh well this, so this one must have been written before the new band list okay so because I really want to uh, make the uh, deck I was writing this uh, to ask you if I if I had if you had any extras of these cards you could send me them so I could finish my Herald deck though even though you if you don't have any of these I st will still watch you and try to get people to join Team Profire thanks uh, thank you for reading this and signing the cards that I sent you but I have to know what is your favorite uh, Toon Monster because mine is Toon Cyber Dragon. I think mine is Toon Dark Magician Girl or Toon Summon Skull. Um, I, I can't decide which one's my favorite. I also like Toon Mermaid a lot and I like just, you know, Toon World. I love the card Toon World a lot. Just regular old Toon World, not Toon Kingdom, just Toon World. Love it. Love the art on it. Amazing card. Um, though, keep on making amazing and hilarious videos and uh, do amazing things for your Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, uh, do them and do amazing things for Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. And, uh, I, I, I I think that was an incomplete thought, but sincerely, Hayden. Well, thank you for writing. Uh, P.S. I wrote the, uh, wrote this before the ban list, so if you could send me any of those cards, please don't send a maxi. Okay, so so he was talking about so he needs brilliant fusion. I don't I don't have spur brilliance. I mean, uh, I mean the only brilliant brilliant engine I have are the ones I mean the ones that I play. But uh, let's see, what else did you need? A brilliant fusion, a seraphonite. A uh, Seraphonite Brilliant Fusion? No, I really don't have any. I mean, uh, and Maxi, the, the only card I have spare of out of that, sadly, is Maxi. And I'm really sorry, that's the only one I have spare of is the Maxi, and it's a gold rare Maxi. And plus, Maxi just got banned, so either way, you don't want it. <laughs> either way, you don't want it. Even, even if it wasn't unbanned, it's a gold rare, so you wouldn't want it anyways, <laughs> because gold rares are hideous. What did you send to sign, though? A uh, Toon World, a playset of Cyber Dragons, Upstart Goblin, and of course, a Toon Cyber Dragon. I'll definitely sign these and send them to you. Um, and if you guys are, are, are um, you you know, uh, think, if you guys are right now thinking of writing me, you know, asking for cards and stuff like that, um, I'm going to say right now, please don't. And the reason why is because if I have everybody asking me for cards all the time, I mean, I have to say no to everybody because if I send one person cards, I have to send everybody cards. And if I, you know, it's the same thing. If I get, you know, one video request to make a video request for somebody, then I have to answer everyone's video requests. And the thing, the thing is, I just can't get to everybody. I, just like I can't, you know, uh, fill, you know, fulfill everyone's video requests because there's so many people, you know, there's so many of you guys I can't send cards to everybody either because there's so many of you guys it's just I, I just can't do it if I do have spares of something that's just like readily available like that I have a lot of like you know for example um, you know someone asked me for you know a fake blue eyes I have like a billion fake blue eyes I'm like sure I'll just give you a fake blue eyes I mean like stuff like that that I just obviously have like a billion copies of I don't really mind because you know if, if like a hundred if I have a hundred copies of a card and you know some and a hundred people ask me for you know a hundred copies of this card that I'm not using I'll just send it out you know what I mean I just I, I don't care um, I, I don't mind at all but the thing is if a lot of people ask me for one copy of a card like brilliant fusion for example and I, I just don't have spares of it like I, I, I not only can I not fulfill that you know but it just kind of puts me in this awkward spot where it's like you know people are asking me for stuff and I don't have it and, and that just makes me you know you, you, you see where I'm going with this so it's just really really best not to ask for cards guys although I don't mind it I'm just gonna state right now that it's just best not to but anyways Hayden thank you so much for writing I really wasn't trying to you know like lecture you or scold you there or anything like that I seriously don't mind you know when people ask me for cards or anything like that I seriously don't mind it's just I don't want everyone to do it at once because that kind of puts me in like this spot but I will definitely sign these and get them right back to you thank you so much for writing again next let's open up one of these packages though this first one is from a Wilson so it's from a Wilson <laughs> that's really funny but uh, let's open this up and see what is in here though I like these because you can just like bend these up usually and open it up except for when they're like that too. <laughs> let's see what this what, what's what's all in here. So there is the return envelope. Okay. So it looks like when we sign in some stuff, and that is everything. 
<laughs> Looks like that's everything out of that one. So let's see what this says. Whoa, lots of cards out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so dear Yugi Dono, or as you are, are most commonly referred to, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. I have been um, watching your channel for about two months now and have really loved what you are doing. Watching the videos has helped me with some stuff I was going through. I'm really, I'm really glad every time I hear that, guys, because that's that's my goal is to make people laugh and stuff. Um, except for this segment. This segment's more to like, you know, talk to you guys and stuff like that. But normally it's to, you know, to make you guys <laughs> make you guys laugh and you know enjoy playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that stuff. That's really, you know, that's really my goal, you know, on this channel is to entertain you guys. Uh, you can already see I have uh, written on the sleeves of the cards I want signed. Uh, the cards in black are the cards I am donating to you. Well, thank you. Uh, you may look at them now. Okay, well, black cards, uh, you may look at them now. So black black sleeves and see what cards he sent. What? Black wings. Oh my gosh. I'm going to give these to Eugene. <laughs> Cards for black feathers. Oh, they are black. Oh, all of them are black wings. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh, except for a DD swirl slime. Everything else is black wing stuff. Oh my gosh, Eugene's gonna think that's hilarious. And as you can see, there are a lot of birds. And if you can take a gander at the cards of the whites, you'll figure out what I am playing. The reason why I am playing this is because when I was barely getting into Yu-Gi-Oh, my stepbrother Jason told me I should play black wings. So when I was a freshman, I did, um, I started building them and just finished them this year um the other re the other reason is that my friends and i uh all play with the ban list right before leaks came out where norden and brian Ack were at one uh the reason why i am tapping this is because um i i have the handwriting of a kindergartner oh me too and i don't want to torture you by writing this also uh, as a farewell i would like to know um have you listened to the song chapter four off of waking the fallen if you have well what do you think of it yeah yeah of course i've heard that song and uh i'm, I'm like i like a7x like a little bit they're not my favorite band i mean uh, they're um the thing is like i'm more into like heavier music myself but i do like a7x i didn't i didn't like them for a long time it took me a long time to kind of uh, acclimate to them and stuff i will say that their new stuff is complete garbage for the most part i mean in my opinion i mean i will not their newest new stuff because the newest new stuff is actually not bad but when they were trying to sound like metallica i didn't like that but um yeah like, you guys should know what i'm talking about but uh, yeah their old stuff is just fine their old stuff is really really clever a lot of the lyrics are really clever and i like like uh, like them a lot um, now, you know, but um, I just didn't for a long time. I don't know why. But uh, sincerely, Andrew Wilson. Uh, P.S. I am writing not long after your deck of perfection uh, video came out. P.P.S. Tell Eugene that we shall rise again, brother. Everyone will learn to fear Black Wings again. P.P.P.S. Uh, seriously though, I love Black Wings. I refer to them as my children. I think I have a problem. <laughs> he wrote this two seven eighteen. Oh my gosh. So there's gonna be a lot of Black Wing cards for me to sign. Uh, uh, oh yeah 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 i was like what was the starving venom card i guess they, they, they go, do they go into that can they make that i can't remember what the materials are but dude i will definitely sign all of these and get them right back to you thank you so much for writing this next one is from a scott hewitt so let's see what scott has to say today so we have some cards uh, from anthony Cant. what from anthony cantos you are his friend now what what what, what did anthony what did anthony <laughs> So I'm back. And um, if you guys were not aware, um, Anthony Cantos, our former fan mail champion and the person who invented the title of fan mail champion, um, he has been teasing me and like hinting that he's going to be sending me something, that he's going to be bombarding me with something. And I think that he has decided to uh, send me a lot of Jerry Beans men. If I get any more of these, my house is going to be filled with them. They're going to be running around for like weeks and I'm never going to get rid of them. I'm going to have to like fumigate my house. Thank you so much. So hopefully I will not get any more Jerry Beans men, but um, this one is from Joe Abazia. This guy sent last week too, I'm pretty sure. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to be better with names because I'm notoriously horrible with names and I'm really trying. I'm making an effort to be better because, um, you know, I think it's like just fair. You know, you guys send me so much awesome stuff and you guys send so much. I just, I mean, you'd think I would learn people's names. I'm just, I've always been bad with names, guys. I'm really trying to be better though. Um, I hope you guys 
guys can like bear with me. But Joe Abazia, this name is definitely familiar. This guy has definitely sent before. And let's see what he has to say this week. So there's a letter and what? Super, the, the superconductor Tyranno, not the ultimate conductor Tyranno. Just the old school superconductor Tyranno. That is sweet. So Yugi, bro, bro, man, I can't get over the mat. You were just gifted at the end of last week's fan mail. Dude, I know this mat is amazing. Um, I need to put the old one behind me. I think like out, of, out with the old, in with the new. Um, you know what I mean? And uh, I think that this is the mat that I'm going to be going with because every time I look at this thing, like, I mean, like right now, like <laughs> if I'm not paying attention to it, you know, it's fine. But like when I really focus on it, I'm like cradling warping off the <laughs> Like I can't, I can't. <laughs> I seriously can't look at it like the more I think about it like the funnier it is I just I can't I have to ignore it like I seriously have to ignore it but um, the larvae moth is just too good also you're the first person to compliment my handwriting but if we uh, the members of the Church of Yugi Jesus the Church of Yugi Jesus are going to write the Book of Life and Book of Moon I offer my services as a scribe anyways I figured you would appreciate the story I brought my uh, cyber dragons to the tournament that my uh, local game shop holds every Sunday side note if you can uh, shout them out so uh, in case anyone who watches this uh goes to new jersey and is near um east rutherford uh, rutherford the name is side Anyways, that's near East Rutherford. The name is Side Scrollers, an awesome uh, Monty, uh, an, an awesome um, something, a uh, mom, mom and pop shop. Okay, so this, uh, that's good. Um, an awesome mom and pop shop run by even better people. It's a video, uh, video uh, card game uh, shop lounge. Uh, there's a place like that in Tulsa, actually. I don't go to it, but uh, you could uh, also find them on Facebook, Instagram, with the same name. Anyways, I ended up winning. Well, congrats. But the two things I think you would. Uh, appreciate is one set i sealed it with the classic nova floating into barbaroid yes dude yes oh my gosh i came up with that forever ago yeah go into barbaroid uh, or any other machine like any other machine now my, what i found though uh, what i found like throughout the years though is like the um you know i cut i mean it's cute to go into into a barbaroid and it's cool but um what i ended up doing is just like you going into my instant fusion target so if i had like you know a galaxy soldier i could keep trying to push and stuff and that's what that's the route i ended up going but yeah the, uh, the barbaroid play is still really funny um opponent's face was priceless yes exactly that's why you do it it's freaking funny they're, you, they're just like what <laughs> like, uh, secondly uh, in a different set my opponent baited my infinity gate with a dark hole then summoned um copycat yeah i also forgot it existed and slammed into me that sucks i literally just laughed and shook his hand also my friend insists on uh, saying pot of desires is too risky and i keep telling him uh, mathematically it's almost impossible to banish all three copies of your your, uh, to uh, of your vital cards and that the payoff is worth banishing some of those cards uh, some of those one of one ofs in the deck but he doesn't listen to reason i was going to leave him anonymous but he needs to be saved by yugi jesus so if you could just tell him that he is wrong his name is josh i'll show him this and i'm sorry that this is a bit long i know you have a uh, um, uh, have a ton of fan mail and we just we have to get anthony <laughs> you have to get to anthony kantos and chris bushka sorry if i butchered the spelling uh, i said you one of my extra copies of Superconductor Tyrano. If you already have it, though, maybe you can sign it and give it away. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know if I already... Eh, probably have one of these somewhere, but uh, yeah, I can sign it and give it away. Um, but uh, thank you for uh, t uh, taking the time to do uh, Fan Mail Mondays and for um, all, for all of your videos. Uh, also, uh, thank you for shouting out uh, Side Scrollers, saving my friend from the fear of desires, and for uh, signing my cards and blessing my pools last week to wrap this up i'll ask you a question if you were a character on the anime would uh, you would uh, who would your ace monster be i would uh, guess uh, you'd say cyber dragon yeah definitely probably uh, for me i would choose um i would choose my girl a vampire vamp as always i'll dick slap the like button and um have um alexis tit tap it seven girls <laughs> now you're out you're on a roll i have seven girls to watch the channel Pfft. Man, other Yugi tubers. I mean, maybe I should like you know tell one of my girlfriends to go watch another Yugi tuber because I mean every other Yugi tuber sitting at zero. Okay, I mean, I mean, I, granted every other Yugi tuber is kind of a weirdo. I'm the only cool one, but I mean, like seriously, spread the love, spread the love. Okay, other Yugi tubers need at least one girl to watch them too. Okay, but <laughs> P.S. Thank you for giving a, a thank you for keeping my fiance uh, preoccupied with your videos long enough so I can read a few chapters of whatever I'm reading without being distracted. 
though I do not have the ability to dick slap that like button, I'll gladly give it a tip tap, Alexis. So she wrote me too, that is awesome. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so funny. But as for your friend Josh, yes, Josh, you are absolutely wrong. I'm sorry, Pot of Desires is a plus one. It's a fantastic card. Um, I don't recommend it for every deck, but for the most part, yes, it, it should be played and it's a really great card. A matter of fact, if you don't believe me, go look at any top deck profile from, let's just say YCS Atlanta this weekend. I mean, I guaranteed um, a lot of those decks, if not all of those decks, are playing Pot of Desires because it's just that good of a card. And that's really all I need to say. You know, facts and data speak for themselves. Um, oh, Joe and Alexis, thank you so much for writing again. Um, I'll give this away in some like big, you know, giveaway stuff in the future. Um, I actually have a big uh, giveaway thing planned uh, in the future. I just don't know when I'm, I'm going to get around to it. I have a lot of things planned, uh, you know, for the channel. I just don't know when I'm going to get around to everything. But uh, thank you so much for writing again. I really appreciate it. You guys are seriously some of the best writers I have. Thank you so much. And this next one is from an Abraham. Abraham. Let's see what this what this is. And this is like it looks like it's from a. I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna have these in my house for weeks now. Thank you. This is this is awful. You know what? And I have a feeling this one is gonna be even more Jerry Beans Man. I think I feel like it's gonna be more Jerry Beans Man. Let's, let's find out. I, I just I, I just have a feeling that this one's gonna be more Jerry Beans Man. Yeah, yeah. I was I was sadly right. There is more. More Jerry Beans than that one. Anthony, I know that you were just trying to pull a prank, but what you did not know is that Jerry Beans men in large groups come to life and infestate houses everywhere, okay? You cannot have too many Jerry Beans men all in one place, and now I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of them. And it's starting. This next one is from Alec Mendoza, though. Alec Mendoza, and this one's taped a lot, too, so let's, let me get this one open and we'll see what's inside. So we have a letter and a bunch of cards. I think this one's a return envelope. Yeah, so here's the return envelope. And that is everything out of that. Lots of cards. Let's see what this says. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Hey, Yugi Dodo. So my first properly built deck uh, were Synchrons and going uh, for a shooting Quasar Dragon. But before that, I was mainly a Junk Warrior OTK uh, deck. It was it was uh, mainly a Junk Warrior OTK deck using the uh, Scrap Fist and Rush Warrior combo, which was pretty effective. I actually don't really remember that. Around the 5Ds era, I was kind of getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, uh, the, the first time uh, I don't know uh, basically um the firm I, I played I played Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid and then I didn't play like throughout high school and I get I didn't get back into Yu-Gi-Oh um, until after high school like right after high school so and I graduated in 2011 if that tells you anything so around that time frame uh, everything is just kind of a blur because I was relearning the game and stuff but um, anyways um, there was a time I was able to uh, clash junk warrior with my friends a uh, blue eyes um, blue eyes chaos max, Dra max dragon uh, by flooding my side of the field with uh, level two or lower monsters and boosting up junk warriors attack up to 4,000 attack I was motivated to build my uh, synchron deck after becoming a fan of Yusei Fudo who I always got goosebumps from as a kid uh, when he would synchro summon and the theme was song would go off the cards I hope uh, you can sign are the are, are my synchrons and monsters you say used in the show uh, there are also uh, cards for you to keep thank you very very much but I feel like Eugene will get triggered from my joke uh, curious if you uh, used multiple uh, multiple on your pet uh, multi uh, multiply on your pet Karibo uh, how do you think Eugene would feel about it uh, he would probably have a heart attack anyways keep up the great content i will gladly dick slap that like button without protection <laughs> sincerely alec m thank you so much for writing oh my gosh see what you sent me to sign see what you sent me to sign it's actually really funny that you mentioned um you know that the uh, like, yeah, getting like you know like, getting hyped up when like you know the the when a when a monster is summoned and stuff on the show because i used to get really hyped about the god cards and stuff i'm like the same way but i never really got that i mean i i could i, I don't know i never really got into 5ds or any of the other animes but like uh just uh you know translating, you know, uh, my feelings that I had when, uh, you know, Yugi would summon Slifer, for example, or, you know, when Obelisk or Ra was summoned. I, I just kind of apply that to uh, shooting Quasar, you know what I mean, and everything, so I, like, I know exactly what you're talking about. But we have a Junk Destroyer, Formula Synchron, Road Warrior, Jet Warrior, Excel Synchron, and Stardust Warrior. Uh, always triggered my friend when... Uh, when he thought he won a battle fader. Oh, 
Ultra Battle Vader 2, and then a Karibo to get wrecked. Uh, Jaden Yuki Bestie. Weech Karibo, yes, dude. That was like the coolest thing about GX was like the first episode and like Yuki gave, uh, you know, uh, Jaden uh, his uh, the Wing Karibo, and that was cool. But um, let's see. So uh, please, please sign, absolutely. And then let's see what these are. Um, so Fortress Warrior, Jet Synchron, Tuning Wear, uh, Turbo Synchron, Unknown Synchron, Level Eater, Scrap Fist, uh, Quick Draw Synchron, a couple of Junk Synchron, Sonic Chick, uh, Quilt Bolt Hedgehog, Rush Warrior, and Speed Warrior. I will absolutely sign all of these for you and send them back, dude. Thank you so much for sending. Eugene will fear me more. Oh my gosh, what is this? Kuryo! <laughs> Multiply! Oh my gosh, that's hilarious, dude. Thank you so much for writing. Thank you so much for sending all these. I'll absolutely sign this whole stack and send it back your way. Thank you so much again. And the last thing we have today is actually not from Chris Bushka. Today we have something from Josh Kohler. Josh Kohler, I'm pretty sure, okay, like right now off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure this is the guy that sends me all the fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but don't quote me on that, guys, because I'm once again, I'm terrible with names. I'm trying to work on it, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the guy. So let's um, open this up and see what he sent. This is actually really exciting because he sent he has sent me if this is the guy I'm thinking of he has sent me some of the coolest stuff that I've ever gotten in this series it's really awesome all right so there's some Walmart bags I guess for like a for, for protection of the starter deck um a lot of a lot of cards um what is, what is this so another is this just all the rest of it padding okay so then uh, there's something in that that's the return envelope but there's something in that as well what, what is all this oh my gosh dude what, what did you send me um another card just fell out of that okay so hey yugi no no i'm happy you like round two of my fake Yu-Gi-Oh card packs yes i knew it uh, these packs are different but i'm sure you will like them i guess you can uh you can say this is round three but there is only one fake Yu-Gi-Oh card in one of the 10 packs have fun looking for that card but i'm sure it won't uh, be it won't be easy to find it oh okay the paper play mat is yours sorry that i accidentally ripped it oh no dude it's fine which one is this one which one is this one see a realm of the sea emperor actually someone recently just sent me this one i think i think you just i think you just barely missed it yes or maybe no maybe this is the one i didn't get sent to me um i'll have to check uh, maybe maybe uh, no i just recently updated um you know the uh, the, the starter deck mac uh, st starter deck structure deck mac collection not too long ago um i can't remember if this one was the one uh, there was one of these I, th I think it was this one the atlantean one um I, that was sent to me after i did that video though so the, that video is already out of date but like i can't be making you know a video every week like here's my update to my uh, structure deck mac collection i'll probably do it you know once a year or once every six months or something like that you know like here's my you know here's my updated collection but um yeah um that, that is a collection i have and then people you know my fans help me with it uh they send me you know structure deck starter deck mats that just they just have laying around and stuff because i decided a long time ago that i kind of wanted to collect them because uh no one really collects those so i just decided like well i guess i'll collect them uh, along with everything else i mean my my attitude is i'm already collecting all this other Yu-Gi-Oh stuff anyways i might as well <laughs> like i might as well collect these mats that's just that's just how i've always seen it he goes on to say the card in the envelope is for you to sign and of course all of the rest of the cards are yours to keep thank you so much again dude uh p.s maybe uh, maybe um, if today th then uh, isn't a lot of mail then maybe you can open the packs in this video but it's uh, but it's fine if you can't i could probably open them all really, really quick uh because this is the last thing i could probably like speed open but you want me to sign this karibo dude absolutely i will definitely sign that so i'll put this on top of your return envelope and let's uh, let's rip these open really quick and see what we have so oh my gosh dude these are actual japanese cards that is awesome oh my gosh dude these are sweet oh my gosh these are way sweet oh man you are a madman oh my gosh so you didn't send me fakes you just sent me you just sent me Japanese cards. Uh, I mean, but he did say there was one fake and it would be hard to find. Let's see if I can find the fake. Let's see if I can locate the fake card. The one thing to look out for is the box in the lower right hand corner. Uh, Sinister Serpent and Goat stuff. Oh my gosh. Kunai would chain. Dude, that is sweet art. Oh my gosh. Scary Moth Japanese. Dude, these are awesome looking. Wow. These are way sick. Dude, I should, oh man, an X head cannon. X head cannon, super rare. Is that the X one? Yeah, yeah, that's X. Wow. And then the sandwich, yeah, sandwich. 
That's way sick. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should uh, I should have opened these in a separate video now. These are so freaking cool. Wow. These are way sick. I mean, I feel like I'm doing them um, injustice by opening them like super fast. Way Rainbow Karibo. Is that what you're talking about? You sent me an English card amongst all the Japanese ones? Or am I seriously supposed to be looking for a fake still? I'm kind of thrown off. But because uh, all these all these seem real, but then again, I'm not looking super close. I'm just trying to I'm just like looking through these and these are way cool. Oh my gosh ceasefire um, Oh my gosh the ex exile force goat format man And uh, the, the Japanese cards are really cool and like uh, old formats and stuff because like no one really cares if you play Japanese cards and that's why they're so awesome to play in uh, in those old formats and stuff when you're playing with friends. Oh my gosh these are awesome, dude. Thank you so much for sending these. These are way cool. Wow. I'm like still, this is like the last pack. This is the last pack. This is way awesome. Dude, a super fisher. Whoa. So this one, this has got to be the fake. Oh, no, it's not though. It just doesn't have the box. Is it the fake? I don't know. Here, let me compare. Let me compare. I don't know, man. This one, you know what? I, mm, I feel like this fissure is the fake, but the back of it looks, just because this looks darker doesn't mean that it's a fake, but it is super miscut, which makes me think that it's a fake, and it's got the box missing, which also leads me to think that it's fake, but I could be wrong, because if I remember, uh, there were um, um, OCG cards at some point in time that didn't have the box in the bottom right-hand corner, but I, could, but I could be also wrong about, uh, I could be also wrong about that as well. Um, let me know if that is the fake card, guys. Let me know if this is the fake card, and dude, uh, Josh, and let me know if this is the fake card. I think this one's the fake, but if it, I, I don't care if it's the fake or not. Uh, the, either way, this looks way way cool this is one of the coolest fissures um, I play my supers in my two that in my 2002 deck uh, the uh, the legendary collection uh, supers but this is like way cooler <laughs> than my legendary collection ones these are this is awesome this is way way cool dude thank you so much again for sending um, thank all of you guys I just want to thank all of you guys of course except for Anthony Cantos who just sent me a bunch of Jerry Beans men and completely um, wrecked my house I can hear them in the other room now just tearing up my stuff thank you very very much for that by the way not really, <laughs> but to everybody else, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for sending cards. Thank you for, uh, for sending mail uh, week after week. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for donating to me on Patreon, uh, for supporting me on PayPal, for what, liking uh, my Facebook page, for liking my Twitter, uh, for, for you know checking me out on YGO Amino, even just everything. Everything you guys do, every little thing that you guys do to support my channel, I appreciate, and I just I am, I am always in your debt. Thank you so, so much. And that is going to wrap up this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it this was definitely one of the funner ones in recent memory that uh, like this was just so much this was just so awesome it was just so cool uh, to you know and, and just doing this every week I mean I'm always left speechless it is just it's an amazing feeling uh, getting uh, you know being in this position and getting all this cool stuff sent to me and uh, being able to show it off to you guys and stuff so you can enjoy it too it's just very very cool um, thank you all so much for watching again though and until next time be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe Subscribe! <laughs>